our spring choral concert. Tonight, uh, I'm excited. I watched this group perform. I got to observe the other day this group uh, rehearsed. And uh, I'm excited for this concert. This is actually the first night in a, in a pretty intense, busy weekend here for uh, many in this group because tomorrow night at 5 o'clock, uh, there'll be uh, the group, a group from the Susie Bowl will be performing at the uh, Majestic Theater in Gettysburg um, at the Totem Bowl Playhouse, which should be an exciting night considering that we're nominated for 13 different awards tomorrow night.
Good evening and thank you so much for that warm welcome. We're so excited to see you all here tonight to support choral music in our area. And we're excited to share this diverse program of music with you tonight. This culminates and showcases all our hard work from January all the way up till now. And we begin our concert tonight with a pair of modern interpretations of early American folk songs. The first one that you just heard was How Can I Keep From Singing, which is a Quaker hymn. And that arrangement blended energetic, robust singing with a cappella sections. We hope you enjoyed it. Next, we're going to move on to the well-known shaker melody, Simple Gifts. But this arrangement is going to use some jazz-inspired harmony, and it's called The Gift to be Free.
solos. These next three seniors took it upon themselves to audition for a solo on the concert, and I'm sure you'll be glad that they did. They bring a really nice touch to the program, so I'm going to get out of their way. If we're all set up, we'll hear from our senior soloists.
Next we'll hear from our Eagle Singers. This is an audition group that meets as a class every day during school and enjoys many local performances throughout the area during our school year. Our first set of songs is programmed for the York Springs High School Alumni Banquet, which we performed in April, and uh, the earliest class year in attendance at that banquet was 1935. So we thought it might be good to program some Gershwin songs for that. Um, so here's a trio that includes nice work if you can get it, someone to watch over me, and I got rid of Get it if you try. Strolling with 
single singer featured today in Gettysburg Times, uh, which included a photo from our performance at the Adams County Fallen Police Officers Memorial Service last week. Our next piece was performed at that service, and we interpreted it as a dedication to all those who are lost or all those who have lost. Here's the road home. Constructed over the past two weeks, we'll be using some electronic percussion to accompaniment that we composed together in class for somebody that I used to know.
That was It Takes a Village, through which we discussed and reflected upon and showed the importance of community development. Quite an important message for today's youth in today's age. And an important part of community development is reflection on the past, which is the theme of our next piece, Wanting Memories.
Beethoven, whose choral music's most prominent composer of spirituals. This is an a cappella piece in which we focus on balance, blend, and unity. Here's Hear My Prayer. Shelbysburg University 
majoring in marketing. I'm Amy Smyers, and I'll be attending Shippensburg for elementary education. Hello, my name is Madison Lear. I will be studying with the New York Institute of Photography to get my professional photographer certification. Hi, I'm Sierra, and I will be attending the, the Academy for Media Productions for, for sound engineering and producing. I'm going to Gwinnett University, University of Study Criminal Justice. An inspiring, an inspiring group. How about a round of applause for them? I lived as a recently released pop song by One Republic that was suggested by members of the choir. And I arranged it for this group based on the wide range of talent that we have here. Uh, and we enjoy welcoming lots of different instruments to take the stage here. We're going to have guitars of all shapes and sizes, a little bass drum. Seniors will be providing the lead vocal line. And our choir will be providing vocals and we'll be doing some body percussion as well. So here is I Lived.
Pierce, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of those who have helped us make this concert possible. Administration, Dr. Hopkins, Mr. Straub, and Mr. Defoe, our music boosters for, for, for providing our flowers for our seniors. Fisher Selby, a Bermudian alumni, who's been in the back helping us out with sound and mics tonight. We've had a lot of tech stuff going on. Our high school custodial and maintenance staff for keeping our room in order. Uh, our, oh, lost my voice. Our Bermudian music faculty for fostering a love of music in our students. And finally to you, the parents, the families, the friends, and community members for coming out tonight and supporting our students in the arts. Please join me in thanking you with a round of applause. And we'll continue that thanks as our lovely accompanist Mary George comes back on stage for our last song, Anticipation. Our thank you will be through our seniors this evening, and the seniors will have a chance to go out to the audience to thank those who have helped them through their high school careers. We'll end tonight with anticipation. Thanks so much for coming.